Well, hello everybody and welcome hello. to yes. uh, another Happy Travellers mm -hmm. vlog. Mm -hmm. um, we're here and we thought we'd give you a little bit of a, um, a whistle-stop tour mm -hmm. of the camping site at Castillo yes. de Banos. It's, uh, well, we're at the entrance and you can see... Um, the palm trees in the background, <laughs> can't you? <laughs> Sticking out of our heads, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that might look nice. But yep. we're just going to have a walk yes. in. And show you. And show you. That as you drive down, let me just show you the roadway as you come down. You come down this way. And then, obviously, you turn in to the site, turn right. Yep. And this is what you see. Our friends coming back from the shop, yes, yeah. <laughs> like we are. So, here we are as we come in. Uh, we've got the palm trees and the sea over there, the Mediterranean Sea over that way. And then you come in, and obviously, you keep over to the right, and uh, you can sort of pull up to the reception here and then check yourself in. There's some parking spaces over this way um, and there is the entrance to the bar and restaurant just over there. Let's uh, just get into the site. Just as you get up to reception and as you go into reception they're very very helpful in there uh, so you can ask them any questions, they'll tell you exactly what's what. But there is a nice map. And they give you one of these maps um, to go and have a look around the site, should you want to. So, as you can see, we're down here um, and the whole site is there. We're I'll currently... Where we are. Wendy's going to point out where we are on this pitch is, number 60. where we get, get oh, to the beach. And that's we where we go to the beach. Here. And we're there. actually pitched up on there. pitch 60 right next to the fire extinguisher. And if we want to go out the site the other way to Nico's bar and the beach, we you go, go down past uh, 40 and 39. Yeah, there. Yeah, at the end. Yeah. And there's one toilet block there. Yeah, so we are oh. down this end and. Uh, Oh, we're here. Here's reception. That's it. Here. Down here. Yes. Down here, here. <laughs> They've got a swimming pool yeah. uh, just around the corner. Let's take you around there On and show you that. Yeah. And we'll show you the cabins you can stay in if you haven't got a caravan or motor home. Just walking around the uh, side of the reception building. It's a one-way system, so you go down there to get to the pictures, and then there's the uh, swimming pool. It actually has some children in it at the moment, so uh, we'll just give you a very quick view of that. You can see there's a lovely, uh, lovely waterfall over here, and uh, the pool's a bit chilly to get in at the moment, but lots of uh, seats and decking over that way, so that's quite nice. And uh, you can sort of go up that way, and that might get a bit slippy if it's wet. So, right across from the swimming pool is uh, the bar area so we've got this nice shaded area out here and uh, just through that way is the bar and uh, they'll come out and serve you and you know bring you beers and stuff like that so it's a really really nice comfortable area to sit in isn't it yep there's also inside there there's a restaurant there's a shop and some vending machines so uh, and a library a little library as well which I like, yes. <laughs> so let's get down to where the pitches are. Ah! 
Yeah, as Wendy said, apart from the uh, camping pitches, they have uh, quite a few of these little cabins that you can hire uh, for your holidays. And they've got two or three rows of those. And you see them all down there. Quite a nice, uh, quite a nice thing to do, I would think. So as we come further down. Um, past about a few um, rows there are the washing machine facilities so you can do your washing there and then there's the men showers further down that way and then on the other side we have the washing up so if you're doing your dishes you can do your you can bring them all up here it's all uh, a very nice clean area this is thoroughly cleaned every day and uh, we can see there's plenty of sinks here they don't all have hot water but those in the know knows which ones have and uh, i think it's it's the it's these ones here with the um with the other type of tap so they all have hot water down this end and right next to here is your Elson emptying point through this way we've got uh, the men's and ladies uh, washing and uh, toilet facilities so these are the washing sinks here for the men. You see it's all very nicely laid out. Plenty of room in there. Plenty of mirrors around and I think unusually shaver points as well on the wall. I have the little uh, <laughs> men castles and lady castles. Uh, these are the toilets in here. Yep, and uh, standard, standard urinals and lots of uh, standard toilet stalls. Obviously the same sort of thing in the ladies, and you'll see the difference. The ladies' castle has some uh, ribbony hair and uh, lipstick on so and then round this way and these uh, it's quite difficult to know which one is uh, which but the the ladies showers have the pink on but they're exactly the same as the men's showers so they have a, a small seating area here and then a nice shower shower head that comes off uh, there and a nice adjustable tap uh, for hot and cold water this is a fairly standard uh, sort of row and there there are two main rows one that runs down this way and one that comes back the other way and then we've got joining rows in between um, this is a fairly small pitch usually used for camping but this is a fairly standard size um, caravan or motorhome pitch let's just paste that out for you that's uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten good paces long five six and six good paces wide so it's about a six by ten meter pitch and they're all about the same size although um, getting in some of them you have to be aware of the trees that with some branches that jut out and for example if you were getting into this pitch here you'd need to be aware of that branch there just coming 
<laughs> to take the top of your van off if you were going in. So when we get right down to the other end of the site, we've just walked down straight down that road there from reception, and that's where we've come from. But just right behind us here is the gate that leads out to the what's called the Rambler and a bit of a shortcut over to Nico's bar. Well, here we go. Now it is uh, a place where you need to, it does have steps up and down, but you need to be just a little bit careful. And here we are out onto what's called the Rambler and that's that's the sort of waterway from that takes all the water from the mountains if it if it rains really a lot it, all the water runs down here and into the Mediterranean so coming back through the gate and then just turning right down the first little road here you can see the sea over over the fence there and then as we go just around the corner you can see the other main track that runs from one end of the site to the other and we're just up here on the right dotted around the site are these uh, drinking water fountains you find these all over the place in uh, in Spain so you just press the button and you get fresh water through and it's uh, it's actually really okay to drink as well as really the uh, the um, water on the pitch in fact is uh, good enough to drink it's uh, it's just fine much much better than the um, water we had up at Beni Kassim on Bonterra Park this uh, the water on the pitch here is actually drinkable no worries so behind us is our pitch and well, well I'll open the gate for you and I'll show you where we sit and look out at the sea so beautiful That's what we hear as we lie in bed and drift off to sleep, the sound of the sea. So we sleep very well here, it's beautiful. We yeah. do. Yeah, it's a lovely place. Yeah. So if yeah. you've enjoyed yeah. that little trip around Castillo de Banos, mm. give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you want to keep on following mm. our journey as we travel around the UK and Europe mm. living full time in our motorhome. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. Yes, thank you. Thanks very much. Bye-bye, everyone. Thanks for your comments. Thanks.